what's up? As you know, I'm back in the UK and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you Plymouth, which is the city I went to university. As you can see, the weather's not too great. It's been drizzling. All the grass is brown because we've had a heat wave here in the UK the last few weeks. But as of the moment, I'm in somewhere called Central Park and usually this area is actually quite nice to walk around. Uh, depending on what time of the year it could be autumn or winter it's a nice walk and in the summer all the green grass should be here but not on this uh not in this case so i'm going to be showing you around the city a few points i've got a lot of memories and experiences here and i wanted to make this special video while i was visiting the city again so walking down from central park towards mutley which is the hilly area with all these white houses over here where I used to live during my time at university. We're gonna to go towards those streets now. I'm gonna show you them a bit more closely. It's kind of unique. There's not too many places in England that look like this. And I think you'll find it interesting if you're not from the UK and you're watching this from a different country. So I've now walked on from Central Park and I'm on this road which is called Beechwood Avenue. 40 Beechwood Avenue is where I used to live. Thought it'd be an appropriate place to stop by. As you can see how hilly some of these streets are. Not sure if my camera brings it out. So this area is known as Mutley. Lots of students live here. Lots of uh, hilly roads like I mentioned. And I think a lot of character to be honest. I'm gonna walk down a bit further. You can see a brand new student accommodation building which is now the highest building in Plymouth in the distance. We're going to go towards the university and check out some of the more uh, busy areas of the city uh, in just a moment. So just behind me is the university. I just walked through the campus as you can see in these shots here. It's an extremely modern uh, campus and in fact during my time at the university it reached the top 40 best modern universities in the world. And I studied tourism there for four years including my placement year in China and finished with a first class honours degree. And to be honest, it's quite strange. I'm back here now making a vlog. But this building here, in my opinion, is the nicest building in Plymouth. It stands out quite well amongst the rest. And it's named after Roland Levinsky. He was the vice chancellor of the university until his death in 2007. Unfortunately, he died during stormy weather when he was electrocuted by uh, a line that had fallen onto the pathway, I believe, um, which is quite a sad story and hence they named the brand new main building after him. Amazing university, we have lots of foreigners here and people from all around the world. So if you're interested in studying in the UK, you can check out the website, I'll leave it below. And uh, we'll move on now to some other places in Plymouth. So I've now walked through the city center and I've come to Plymouth's most famous point. However, today it has been blocked off by what looks like a music concert. Just behind me is something known as the Ho. If you Google uh, Plymouth and look at the images, you'll see the Ho is the kind of postcard image of Plymouth. And it's such a shame that I can't put on there and uh, show you it properly. The reason the Ho is so famous is because just behind it, you get this view of the sea often see naval ships in the distance. Along the seafront here is a pleasant place to walk and this right here is Smeaton's Tower which is the I would say most famous landmark in the city. Check it out, people swimming in the Lido while it's spitting with rain and quite clearly windy. Soldiering on despite the weather and yeah walking along the seafront here is one of the nicest things to do in the city especially when the weather is good I tell you Plymouth is a beautiful place when the sun's out blue sky you'll get incredible views here and when the hoe is available and the grass is actually green it's it's a really nice place to be so um, definitely do all of that as your main thing to do here uh, when you visit if you do As 
you can see the rain's pouring a little bit, but I'm carrying on with the vlog anyway. And just a couple things I haven't mentioned. The founding pilgrims actually set sail here from Plymouth, the, some of the first people to uh, found the United States of America. And on top of that, also Sir Francis Drake, very famous explorer, was born here in Plymouth and he was the first sole captain to circumnavigate the world and there's lots of things named after him like the main shopping center drake circus this is where it all started and very famous associations with plymouth um, as you can see i'm soaking wet i'm gonna head down towards the barbican now and show you that area because there's a lot to see and do there and uh, in typical fashion uh, i'm braving the rain here as a british person So this area here is the Barbican, sort of old cobbled streets, lots of uh, small restaurants, souvenir shops, arts and crafts, there's fudge, all different types of food, uh, particularly seafood. Uh, it's really the nicest area to visit in Plymouth, I think, especially in the evening when you want to have a meal or something. So that's everything for this Plymouth vlog. I'm gonna end it there. I hope you enjoyed this short tour of the city. Uh, thank you very much to Plymouth University for sponsoring this vlog. Uh, and I have great memories with the city, as I mentioned. And if you're in South West England, I highly recommend you visit here, as it's a cool place just for a day trip. Uh, there's quite a lot to see and do, uh, particularly the hoe and the waterfront on a good day. Uh, stay tuned, I've got a few more vlogs from the UK before I head out to my next destination. See you then, peace.